Good day to you. My name is Chelsea and I am a breast cancer survivor. What I'd like to share with you today is a little story or experience I had when I was preparing for radiation therapy that emotionally sent me into a massive tailspin. If you're new to this channel, what I'm doing here is sharing my experiences through my breast cancer treatment and life as a survivor to help prepare newly diagnosed women to take away some of the unknowns that I faced so that hopefully you can go in with a little bit more awareness than I had. Radiation was the, well, fourth treatment I had, I guess. I started with fertility preservation, then I had chemotherapy, then I had my mastectomy surgery, and then the fourth thing I had was radiation. Because of my diagnosis, how my surgery went, age, a lot of different factors, I ended up being recommended 33 radiation treatments, which felt like a lot, and it is a lot. As I mentioned in my earlier, earlier videos from about a year ago, one of the things I always did for appointments when I could was have as many people as possible, like not like 10, 20, but I would often have my husband for another set of ears. If my mom was available, she would join in for another set of ears. And then my sister would also come and she would act as the scribe to take down notes and compile all the information. I would actually recommend going and watching some of my earlier videos if you're just diagnosed and you want some tips to help tackle appointments and all of those beginning things that are extremely overwhelming. But I digress. So as I was preparing for radiation, I needed to go in and have some preparation, scans done. They needed to plan out how they were going to map the radiation. And with every new step, I felt like there's just so much information. It is, it is mind blowing. It's like every step is just this massive hurdle. And I was just recovering from my surgery. And so this was this next thing that I was, you know, hearing all the side effects about, hearing how it would make my body feel, how it would make my mind feel and all of the different things. And um, I think that there was just one thing that went unsaid. And before I get into that, I have to tell you, the cancer clinic that I had all of my treatment at was absolutely wonderful. I owe them my life. I am here because of all of the treatments they gave me, so I have nothing bad to say about them. I think just this little thing may have been overlooked or maybe just wasn't talked about, or maybe I'm the only one that was completely overwhelmed when I heard this one thing. So as I was in my preparation appointment, they said, okay, next we're going to go in and you're going to get your radiation tattoos. I heard the word tattoos and I pretty much was just like, pardon me, I don't have any tattoos, or we can say at this point in my life, I did not have any tattoos. And I was someone that I didn't see myself getting a tattoo moving forward. I just, I felt very proud of the purity of my skin, of, of you know, just leaving it the way it is, being as natural as possible. And when I was told that I was about to go and get some tattoos, it, as I mentioned, it put my mind in an absolute blender. Um, the tears started flowing. I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't wrap my head around this. And, you know, I think if someone were to tell me, you know, you're going to get a little tattoo right now, I mean, I would be, I would be a little bit shocked and not know why that was happening. But I think that I would be able to handle it better. I think that because during active treatment, there's so many things coming at you and all I found that I was trying to do was process something and be able to move forward onto the next thing. Process something new and move on to the next thing. And when I had just finished processing something which was getting ready for radiation and then something new was thrown at me and I didn't have time to prepare. It was going to happen in the next minute and it was going to be permanent for the rest of my life. Um, 
it was just a lot for me to take. So that is why I wanted to pass that on to you today. Now, I don't know if that's the same protocol that they do at your cancer center or wherever you're getting radiation. I don't know if that's um, an across the board thing that they do, but I was told that where I did my radiation, these are very important markers because they use these markers to help line up the radiation machine according to your body and they really do want it to be very precise and they want the body to be lined up exactly the same every time. So the only thing that would support that is a small permanent mark on my body. And I will, at the end of this video, I will show you three, no, I'll show you two out of my three little tattoos. So I was told that they are like freckles and I will tell you that my little radiation tattoos are like freckles. Um, mine are blue. I don't know if there was another option, but at the time, blue was the only option that was available. As I had mentioned, my sister was there that day and um, she helped to calm me down. Um, my mom and my husband helped to calm me down. And what I decided was that um, it would be fun if my sister could come in with me to get my first tattoo. <laughs> kind of like um, a thing that we could do together. The nurses and the specialists were okay with that, so she came in with me. I needed to lay down on the bed and um, I got my tattoos. I will tell you now, I, I rarely see my tattoos. I see two out of the three, so I have, I have one about right here <clears throat> in between my breasts that I can see but I mean I, I don't wear low shirts so it's not visible um, for anyone else. I have one a little bit lower that is more like on the bra band which I'm going to try to show you and then I have another one over on the side that's under my armpit. Once again I don't really see it but I can show you there. So in the end they weren't a big deal. Um, if I could go back in time and if I could manage my emotions and if I had given um, been given ample time to prepare for this, I feel like I would have handled it better knowing what I know now. But in the moment, in the, in the overwhelm of it all, I wasn't able to. I hope this helps you in some way today. I hope this takes away some of the surprise that you might have had if this is something that is going to be a part of your radiation and I hope by me showing you what my tattoos look like um, that it helps to ease some of the uncertainty that you may have in this process. Alrighty, I just put on a different shirt so that I can show you my little tattoos. So the first one is in my armpit and um, if I go like this you can't even see it. This is just like a normal shirt but if I lower this a little bit There it is, tiny little blue freckle. See, go back, can't even see it. The shirt covers it. Come in, there she be, quite small. And the second one, as I mentioned, so the second one is about here, right in between my breasts, and I'm not gonna show you that one, obviously. Um, but the third one, is so my bra strap there there it is this little guy get up close here see little blue buckle back up i mean it's there but if i'm wearing a sports bra it's not there. It's there. Not there. So you can't really even see them and um, I forget they're there most of the time. If I was someone who would like to wear lower plunging shirts, you would be able to see this one more. Um, and if I do wear a bikini that is open in the middle, you can see that one. Um, 
it looks pretty much just like a freckle unless you were to look close and then you would see that it's a little bit blue mine are anyways and i like i said i don't know if that will be your experience or not or maybe you can choose what color you want which would be kind of fun but yeah i hope that helps you i wish you all the best and take care friends